منك نتعلم انت معلم واحنا منك نتعلم نسكت وانت موجود ما نرضى نتكلم نسكت وانت موجود ما نرضى نتكلم Hello beautiful ladies and gentlemen today is another vlog in today's vlog we are heading to Marrakesh we are driving from our home in Casablanca we're still home right now we're just leaving and by we I mean my husband and our little boy over there <laughs> So yeah, we're heading to Marrakesh. It's our first time. Um, we moved to Casablanca a couple of months ago. We're now Moroccan living people. Yeah. <laughs> so this is our first intercity trip and we are excited. I'm going to show you guys what to do in Marrakesh. Hey, it's already a groove mode. Okay, see you in Marrakesh. And we need like 15 minutes to get to the hotel and he is just trying to wake up so he has been sleeping since we started this drive like going on road trips with babies are like the best because they just sleep I don't know at least for my baby he really enjoys road trip by doors by car he's just always sleeping but I'm sure that's not what you guys want to hear. You want to hear about Marrakesh? Yeah. So this is 100 meters. Marrakesh. At the roundabout, Hello. We arrived.
to go explore the city of Marrakesh. I am on my full tourist behavior. I have my camera right here to capture amazing photos, videos. And the first place I would be taking you guys to is the Fashion Avenue. Is it Fashion Avenue? Baby, is it Fashion Avenue? <laughs> Why did I think it's Fashion Avenue? That's like in Dubai. I said Fashion Avenue. What avenue is it? Huh? M Avenue Marrakesh. No. M Avenue Marrakesh. No. Like, 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 like
What is this prenum? Oh, okay. So we're having we're having lunch at um, Maidan Rooftop, and I 100% recommend this place, especially after the terrible food we had in our hotel. This is um, a good 100% Moroccan heritage food. Oh my god, I just love the plating so much. It's good. We're having dinner. Baby boy is trying to spoon feed himself. So after dinner, we're gonna go to bed, and tomorrow we would continue with our tourism. So today we are heading to tourist places to see in Marrakesh and with our hotel we were offered a personal tour guide we paid about 120 euros and we're gonna have a trip around Marrakesh for four hours and a car is included and so the car is about 60 euros and the tour guide is about 60 euros so yeah you can either do a trip with a tour guide or you can take a taxi and go on trips yourself around Marrakesh like to see the city and all but because we have a baby and we don't want to take taxis everywhere we also brought our car from Casablanca by the way but due to parking spaces we were advised not to take our personal car so we're off to see places in Marrakesh baby's already sleeping are you excited baby okay side of the Medina Uh, this is like um, Bevendor. 
So the tools in the past, they are colored right now with the normal color. Okay. But in the past, it was actually from natural, and that's a very good tool. Oh, okay. We just arrived a musty place when you visit Marrakesh and it's <laughs> garden looks like years ago before before colonization it was renovated six years ago about 10 it was renovated about 10 years ago to look like what it looks looks like now but before it was exactly like this uh, underground canal system about 75 kilometers from the Atlas Mountain till the central it's called the Al Morabit. From there they bring give water to the Southampton for the rich area and also for some garden like this. It's flowing snow and water always in the fall. <laughs> And the last okay. really so yes I had it please. yesterday I'm not sure I can pass it no no keep uh, keep your child there no okay. problem we are just here so we are about to go discover something the first one is the water heating for the hammam for the uh, uh for ladies and men's hammam and the second rules so keep an eye of your child one of you and the second one has to come child okay. you see where they cook the tongue here oh wow yeah it, the smell, smell also the lemon smell yes yeah i had it yesterday really? it was really good so, yeah so here, if I have, for example, inviters to our dinner, so they, I bring it in the early morning because the cooking time here, it's take about uh, five to eight hours. Okay. Yeah. And this is something very traditional in Marrakesh. Where is the right one? It's for man, the left, it's for woman. Yeah, what does it you know? symbolize? It the hand of symbolizes the hand of Fatima, it symbolizes with peace, it's protect from evil, evil eyes. eyes. And it's bring light to the 
to the lab. Good. Very famous for this material here, the pottery. Okay. Yeah. Harvest, come. No, it's very chokra. It's chokra. They are very the house. It's for the looms. For uh, woman exhibition and exposition, about four hundred fifty five hundred. So the reason to 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 make an exhibition, they have to take the wood look from here okay. because we uh, natural color. Okay. Yeah. This was a palace. It's built in the 16th century. Mm -hmm. Now it's coming as a cooperative. So we work about 380 women. They make their own carpet in the villages. And when the auction day, they bring them down. Because here we have more, more than 5,000 carpet. You know, when the lady, she need money, she bring the own carpet and she leave it here. And she put the own number in the back. Mm -hmm. When we sell the lady, she get 80% and you get 20%. Okay. Yeah. Where are you from? France. Where are you from? Say. Oui. So you get it. Yes, yes. Look at this one. That's Arabic. Arabic carpet. We're still exploring the old Medina and we're still exploring the old Medina. We're still exploring the old Medina. And we stopped for a quick Moroccan tea. <laughs> No, 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 We just finished seeing old Medina here in Marrakesh, Morocco and I totally recommend old Medina when you come to Marrakesh. We are heading to a palace right now and come with us. Very tourist crowded, very full. There are two rest places where, where they play, where they pray, they play. Oh. For men and for the praying, as you see the prayer room, and here it's for the local and family. Once the guest, okay. this is the musharraf. It's more like seen without to be seen. So once you're there, the room has to move from the Visit it. Belonging to the party. No, they want. Visit the garden? Yes, I'm coming. So, guys, there is um, a king. I cannot believe that one man built this whole place for his wife. That's what the whole palace is about. The king built it for just one wife and is magical. I'm gonna get my tour guide to say something about it. What's the name of the king? 
the king is the Bra Mullah Ibrahim, Mullah and Ibrahim. the queen actually is she is Leila Bahia. So and they the built the whole palace for Leila exactly. Bahia. That's why it's called Bahia Palace. And it's not like a queen; it's like a, a pasha. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's so, the pasha? Uh, it's, uh, uh, the pasha has it, it was in the Pasak city. Was given for someone who has the control on the city. Oh, okay. But it's under the, the queen, oh, under the okay. control of our queen. It's such a beautiful place. If you ever come to Marrakesh, must visit on your list. Buy a palace. Oh, thank you. He's sucking and sleeping at the same time. We've had a beautiful day, and whew, tomorrow we have to um, see other places as well. And I am looking forward to it. Um, for today, for the rest of the day, we're just gonna grab dinner, and we're just relaxing right now in our room waiting for like one hour so we can go for dinner because we've been like on the move on the move on the move so we just want to rest our leg catch a breath and just go for dinner <laughs> today so basically my son and my husband they're in the room because i think the pool is kind of still cold right now but before we go out for all our activities today to see the city i just want to enjoy the pool and uh, not much people in the big pool right now because the hotel has a big pool and a small pool and we've been using the small pool the past few days because oh my god this school used to be so full of people <laughs> but right now it's like everyone is having breakfast because we just finished breakfast so it's pretty empty right now I'm just gonna enjoy it 
So today we are going to East Saint Laurent Garden and Museum. It's like one thing that everyone has recommended for me like all the friends i know who have been to morocco and people on my instagram who has been to morocco everybody's like we have to go to this place and also my husband has heard of it before so he's like so excited to go there it's like the first thing on our list but we're doing it today because we want to have a lot of time to just enjoy this place so basically um if saint laurent garden the designer Yves Saint Laurent he spent a lot of time in Marrakesh with his boyfriend and because it's like his best holiday destination I think when he passed or while he was alive he bought this um, he bought um, this garden Madural garden um, here in Marrakesh and he made a museum out of it even though he has passed on now the museum is still existing just like its brand and it's like a bucket list thing to do when you come to Marrakesh do not miss going to this place but of course I'm gonna show you guys when we get there today I am looking forward to it dressed and ready for his cellar run
Dream Souvenir is a must. So I already picked out the one I want. This one, it's really lovely. Marginal Garden and Yves Laurent Museum was amazing. Like, it was magical. And um, just to put it out there, um, the museum, a part of it was closed today. Mostly um, a part of the Yves Saint Laurent part. So if you are gonna go to Marrakesh and you wanna see this place, you should avoid going there on Wednesdays. That's your off day. Yay! <laughs> lucky you that i get to give you this tip because we actually didn't know that they were close today and we just like went there but regardless that a little part of it was closed it was crowded and because we have a baby we didn't queue but oh my god there was like a line of people over like 50 to 60 people maybe 100 if i don't want to like if i'm not exaggerating a little bit but it was really really crowded and um, it was an amazing experience to be honest um, it's just like it's a peaceful place colorful you get to see the vision of the artist and designer Yves Saint Laurent you get to like see where he lived most of his life so it was amazing basically since I live in Morocco I think I have to go to Marrakesh again of course my husband said so that we have to go again we only spent two days there we're back home right now we drove directly home from Yves Saint Laurent so two days in Marrakesh was amazing but if you want to go and you don't live in the country you definitely need more time so basically the drive is two hours so we can always go another weekend um, spend few more days there just to enjoy it more but overall Marrakesh should be in your bucket list it's really really nice to be honest and whew, I'm gonna be ending this video right here thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed every bit of this vlog I hope to see you in my next video please kindly subscribe kindly like kindly comment Ask me questions about Morocco if you have any. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.